Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your spirit messages for June. I am Charlene Lusat. If you happen to be stumbling across this video, know that this reading will go from mid-June into mid-July. That is how the spirit messages work. I had posted or pu pulled your cards already. However, I understand you guys want me to flip the camera so that it's not mirrored anymore. So I'm honoring that. And so I just changed the camera and it came back on. I hadn't started the reading yet. There's a couple of things I really want to tell you that are coming through as downloads before we move into the cards, okay? And you'll notice that this reading has a lot of psychic downloads. I really channel during these messages, so the energy is a little bit different. There's nothing wrong. I'm just in a different vibrational frequency, okay? One where I'm channeling directly. So the first thing that I wanted to tell you was that I was called to use a different deck for every single zodiac sign this month instead of the rose oracle i was called to use one of rebecca campbell's first decks that she created i can't remember what it's called if you are familiar familiar with her cards it's it's this deck okay so when i asked why source said because we're evolving because we're growing because we're stepping into a new place energetically as a collective and so the spirit messages had to shift to accommodate that energetic collective shift that is happening it's like one uh, with the collective change in energy so were the readings the readings are also meant to evolve and be refined okay so we start off with the tarot and immediately i'm seeing a lot of swords so there's two things that come through with the swords and i'll show you in just a minute swords in tarot are connected to gemini libra and aquarius energy Jupiter, your co-ruling planet, just moved into Gemini, and it's going to be there until May 2025. We are also in Gemini season. As I am recording this, Mercury is also in Gemini as well, all right? This Gemini and mercurial energy, let's just call it that. It's very mercurial. It's very, um, very intellectual. It's very mental. It's very much to do with communication, okay? What I am seeing here is that you are experiencing an evolution of your mindset you are shifting from this place of being very limited or um, restricted or feeling a lot of dense and difficult energy around your mind and you know we can blame Saturn and Pisces for that if we want to okay or we can choose to to claim reclaim our power and we can choose to step out of victim energy and instead of saying things like why can't i catch a break and why is this so hard and why is this happening to me and why does it seem that all these bad things always happen to me instead of being in that vibrational frequency pisces this month throughout the next 30 or so days what's actually going to happen for you is a shift you're going to see things from an entirely different perspective, from an entirely different light here. You're going to recognize and realize that because you are the last sign in the zodiac, because you rule house number 12 in astrology, your mind is the most powerful of all the signs. And because it is the most powerful of all the signs, what you think becomes your reality. Now, this is true for anybody, but for you more so, and it's twofold. One, because you're co-ruled by Jupiter and also Neptune in modern astrology. But in addition to that, you are the subconscious. The 12th house is the unconscious. It's the subconscious. It's the hidden realms. It has everything to do with the deepest depths of our psyche. It's why it's considered the house of isolation, seclusion, our own undoing, hospitals, imprisonment, mental imprisonment. It's also the most psychic house. It's also the most conscious house, which means that you, because of the fish going in different directions, you can go into the most magical, most powerful version of you, and you can go into the most limiting version of you. Page of Swords showing up here. Be so conscious, so careful about your words, okay? Here on YouTube Shorts, over on my Instagram, on TikTok, in my mailing list, okay? Those are all free resources for you to start using to help you in understanding how to shift your mindset i teach you how to shift your mindset in all those different places okay and they're free okay a five of swords next okay more it's like you and your ego are having a battle 
in one of my courses uh, called Align, I actually teach you about your ego, your shadow, and your higher self. And when I look at this reading, and I'm objective about it, I'm not like tuning in as a Pisces myself, but I'm really just seeing the cards and the message that the cards are sharing with me. What the, the biggest thing that I'm actually seeing is that what is happening here for you right now, Pisces, is a recognition of how your ego and your shadow have maybe at one point um, showed up in your life as a self-preservation mechanism, but now they are actually hindering you. Now they are actually limiting you. Now they are actually hurting you. And, and we got to shut her down, shut her down. As the month and the energy progresses, as you evolve, as you tune in emotionally, I like this here, with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups, you actually, it's almost like you get a lucky break or something this, this month. And what happens in the next 30 days is this lucky break, uh, it leads you towards a new way of thinking. It, it's almost like you've been asking and praying for God, Source, whomever to give you that sign, and you get that sign. And that sign helps you to cultivate more peace and harmony, Six of Pentacles. Meditation is really great for you. Mindset work is really great for you, okay? Learning about your ego, your shadow, your higher self, understanding how to integrate it all while giving space for the higher self to be the one that leads you in this path towards your destiny. These are all very important things to focus on energetically, spiritually over the next little bit. Then we have pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. I mean, obviously, we know this to be true already, okay? Pisces people, just by their nature, are oracles. They have to learn how to shut down that ego, okay? Then we have star mother. How can you mother yourself? More of that nurturing energy. Venus is moving into Cancer on the 17th. And if you have a Pisces rising, it's moving into your fifth house of play, joy, pleasure, okay? Then we have the ever unfolding rose cracked opening. It's happening for you, not to you. You know, I talked about this in the weekly video. I said, you guys, the stuff that's going on for you right now, it's not meant to hurt you. It's meant to literally teach you about your own inner power so that you can go and manifest this life that you seek easily. No more struggle, right? That's not a word we're going to use in our vocabulary anymore. As we dive into the last Oracle cards, we have the Seas of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. I mean, could the cards really explain more of what I was receiving in the download, right? Here you are paying attention to your self-deprecating thoughts, your own limiting beliefs, your own story that you've been creating and cultivating in your life and like how you've literally been leaking your energy. No more of that. And then we have, wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. See, this month to me or the next 30 days, I should say, is this time right now where you're energetically coming together. Like I'm seeing all these cells just like, coming together and towards the end of this period so mid-july you're going to blossom and bloom and it's going to be really beautiful and then we have trust the timing trust the way you came on time is not running out see source has your back source is always conspiring to work in your favor are you willing and able to see how universe has your back or are you going to always be critical and judgmental and frustrated and angry with source that's up to you you can follow me on Instagram, sign up to my free mailing list, book a session with me, take any of my courses all in the description box below, including a line, which is the course I was telling you about, which I think would be really, really beneficial for you. The amulet you got this month is Athena Warrior Wisdom. And here's a video to help you out with what you're going through so you can manifest everything that you desire with ease. All right. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.